Welcome to Mr. McDonald's Mad Science Lab. I am your host, Mr. McDonald, the Mad Scientist. Today, I'm going to do an experiment and you are here to join the fun. For this experiment, I ask that you keep a keen eye and an open mind because the madness is about to begin. First, I would like to draw your attention to this table in front of me. I'm going to start with these simple household items to demonstrate buoyancy. Here, I have a jar. Water, eggs, salt, and something to stir with. I fill the jar with water. Now, do you think the egg will sink or float? As you can see, the egg sinks. That is because its density is greater than that of the water and is therefore not very buoyant. Now I will remove the egg and repeat the experiment, only this time I will add salt to the jar of water. Stir the salt so that it is fully dissolved into the water. As I put the egg back in, you can see that it floats. I have done nothing to the egg, only the material in which I emerged it. What changed to allow the egg to become more buoyant? Once the salt dissolved into the water, it caused the water's density to increase so much so that the egg's density is less than the water's, making it buoyant. Now, the egg floats. Anyone who has swam in a lake and the ocean has experienced this. It is much easier to float in the ocean because its salt water's density is greater than that of a freshwater lake. Neat, huh? So now I have a question. How perceptive were you? I ask because our experiment was not about water density or buoyancy. Our experiment was really about how perceptive you are and if you would recognize changes in your environment. Take a moment. Do you notice anything a little off? While we were playing around with water and eggs, things in the lab changed. Let me show you a before and after of my lab. Did you notice the differences? Here, let me show you. Did you notice the globe change? The books? How about the sign and my furry squirrel friend? What about the color of the liquids in my beakers? Did you notice that the candle was suddenly lit? What about the carton of eggs that changed from half dozen to a full dozen? Finally, did you notice that my glasses on my face changed? How many differences did you spot? Were there a lot more of these changes than you realized? Let's look at the two images again, but without the black between them. So why didn't you notice these changes the first time? It's because of something called change blindness. Our brains can only focus on one thing at a time. So while you were deciphering one experiment down here, we were able to make changes around us without you noticing. This is a brain trick called misdirection. It's a tactic that magicians use all the time. Since your brain cannot pay attention to everything at once, your brain has to prioritize. When we started this video, your brain was prioritizing what I was saying rather than memorizing what was in the background. Scientists have been studying for decades the brain's inability to keep track of changes. This is the phenomenon known as change blindness. 
This is the brain's failure to notice surprisingly large changes from one moment to the next. Our attention is limited. When we look at the world, we take in far fewer details than we think we do. You don't notice changes like the ones in my lab because you don't expect them to occur. You miss these sorts of changes in your everyday life. The brain is a complex thing and there is lots more you can learn about it. For now, I hope you have enjoyed visiting my lab today. This is Mr. McDonald saying stay perceptive, otherwise you might end up with egg on your face.